Okay, so right off the top, I gotta tell you, trigger warning, there's gonna be some, uh, some pretty graphic descriptions of gruesome violence in this motherfucker. Just trigger warning if you're not into that stuff, because I feel that it's kind of important when it comes to this story. Also, I really don't know what put my fucking brain in the place where it would come up with something like this. I basically woke up and my brain's like, yeah, you should really talk to someone about that. <laughs> Hence. <laughs> okay, so open, scene, convenience store, exterior. <laughs> Just happens to be the same convenience store that used to be around the corner from my parents' house while I was growing up. Went to that store pretty much every day for like 20 fucking years. The same little Chinese couple uh, owned that store for the entire time. They probably still do. I don't know. I haven't been back in a long time. But it was the kind of place where you go in and they'd know. You'd be like, hey, you want to get these smokes or whatever. And, and you know what I'm saying, right? So I'm walking up to go into the store. And I see that there's like a couple of cars parked there. And there's two dudes outside of the store, kind of to the side. So that whoever's inside the store couldn't really see them, per se. You know, and there's like, there's one guy who's like kind of ang angry looking. He's kind of having an argument with the other guy who looks a little bit more timid. And I'm kind of keeping an eye on them because they seem a little bit strange. They seem a little nervous to me. And then all of a sudden I see that the, the one guy, he's the, the stronger, looks like the leader type guy of the two. He kind of like gives me a look. And I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. I'm gonna stay away from these fucking guys. So I keep walking toward the store and I keep kind of looking over at him, just keeping tabs, eh? And I look over one more time and I see like he's got a fucking gun inside of his fucking, inside of his coat, okay? So the, don't worry, this thing's not fucking real. He's kind of holding it like this. Yeah, I see it, I catch a glimpse of it and he notices that I catch a glimpse of the fucking gun. And it's like, it's like this moment snap where he realizes that I realize that he was just about to do something. And I'm thinking, this little old lady, he's going to fucking rob the store. Why else would he have a gun outside of the fucking store? So we both, like, snap judgment, start fucking running. I start running through the door, and he starts running toward me, and I just barely fucking make it. I get inside the door, and I slam it shut, and fucking, I, like, I'm pushing against it, and he's right up against the fucking window. He's got the fucking gun, and he's, he's going, bruh, bruh, let me the fucking, bruh, bruh. And I get down on the ground and I use my back and like press against it with my feet to hold the door shut. Because this guy's a, he's a big fucking guy and he's pushing against the door and freaking out. The little old lady behind the counter, she's freaking out. She's like, what do I do? What do I do? Should I, should I lock the door? I said, no, don't lock the door, but the door. Call a fucking cop. So she gets on the phone, ducks down behind the fucking, the clerk counter there or whatever. And the guy's still there. He's let me the fucking, let me the fucking right now. I'm just like, I'm not saying anything to him. I'm just terrified. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know why I decided to be a hero in the first place. I could have just turned around and left and said, fuck it. But, you know, I was just like, I don't know. I was just kind of like, in my head, I'm worried about this little old lady. So I'm standing there. I'm sitting there fucking pushing against the door. And he's still, bam, bam, bam. Let me the fuck in. And out of nowhere, he just boom, pops off a fucking shot into the sky. I was like, holy fucking shit. And then now the fucking chick is already on. She's on the phone. I can tell she's on the phone talking to the police. And I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm thinking in my head, what should I do here? Like, fucking quid pro quo. He could fucking aim the gun right down through the glass and fucking shoot me and kill me. Or I could just let him in. Maybe he'll just be, like, in such a rush at this point that he'll just get in, get whatever he wants, and he'll leave. I'm thinking about this, and I go, okay, I'm going to do it. And just when I say I'm going to fucking do it, in my head, I hear the sirens. The cops are on their way. I was like, oh, oh, fucking, oh, man. Awesome. Now I'm like a sigh of relief because I see out of the corner of my eye his little wimpy little buddy takes off fucking running. But he's still there. He's like... Fuck. He hears the sirens. I can tell he hears the sirens, and then he does that. He does this like fucking almost movie type thing, like the look where he's, where he's like, "I'm coming back to, to kick your ass. I'm coming. I'm gonna get you for this." It kind of like fucking and then he takes off. He fucking takes off running, and I can kind of see him like run out in the distance, and he and he's gone. I'm like, oh, thank fucking Christ, thank fucking Christ. I'm okay. I'm totally okay. And I lay down on the ground in front of the door. I'm just laying there for a minute. The cops show up and they come in. They're like, okay, we gotta come outside. We gotta talk to you. Where did these guys go? A couple of the cops. There's like three cruisers, like, like six cops, right? So two of them fucking run off in the direction that the guys went. And fucking uh, the, the cops like, okay, just come with me over here to my cruiser and just, you know, t just relax because I'm in shock. And he's like, I'm gonna come back and talk to you when you've got a chance to calm down a little bit kind of idea. So I'm leaning against like the, the back end of the, of the cop cruiser. The back end of the cruiser is parked at an angle toward the, the entrance to the store, okay? That comes in a little bit handy later in the story. And uh, so what's happening now is that there's all these cops out there, which 
usually brings a crowd of people. People want to see what's going on. So this giant crowd of people show up. Fucking fire truck and ambulance are showing up and shit too. So there's like a ton of fucking people here. And I'm, I'm still standing there against the fucking, the back of this, this cop car. I'm like, I almost fucking died. Fucking having a cigarette, just standing there. And I'm like scanning across like the crowd of people in front of me. They're like standing probably 30 feet away from the entrance to the store. And uh, uh, like, I, I, I've been panning through the crowd of people, right? And then I spot one guy, one guy who's acting a little bit weird, acting a little bit nervous, kind of like the same thought process I had going through my head with the first guy when I saw him standing in front of the store. I was like, he looks a little nervous. He's about to do something. So I look at the guy that's in the crowd. I'm like, wait, what is he going to fucking do now? He's going to like, I'm just in my, I'm like, I'm just in my head about this. I'm just, I'm freaking out because of what just fucking happened. But what happens is he makes eye contact with me. And it was almost the same fucking moment as where we both looked at each other and he realized that I realized that he's just about to do something. So he starts walking though. He walks out of the group of the crowd. He walks, starts walking toward the store like he's going to leave or something. Then he stops. He fucking hesitates for a second. And he turns around and he looks at me with this just like look of terror on his face. And I was just like, what the fuck is he doing? He was like probably like 30 feet away from me, right? And he fucking opens his fucking coat and he's got a fucking bomb vest on. And I have like no time to react. He pulls out the fucking the, the trigger or whatever, and he goes and he says something I, indescribable fucking terms like blah 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 America something. He fucking hits the bomb, fucking goes off, and I go fucking down. And I fucking hit the ground behind the cop car. And I'm like, what the fuck? My ears are ringing and shit. Eh? And, I, and I look back as as I hit the ground. I look back at the guy, and, and it wasn't like you see in like the movies, like the fucking romanticized explosion of just the mist of fucking of blood and chunks, and the guys just disappeared. Or you just assume, yeah, he got blown up and he's dead. No, this was like it went off, and I look back, and all you could see was like he was still fucking still standing, but like from like just under his fucking hip all the way up through his sternum, and then his whole fucking his whole fucking the left side was just off. It was just his head and the one fucking arm and his legs. And then the head fucking, like, and body slumped in together like that. And then he fell to the knees, to the face on the ground. All within, like, a matter of a couple of seconds. And it was, it was fucking terrifying. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. I couldn't explain to you how fucking real this felt and looked. I was just unfucking, re- unfucking real. And I'm like, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't, I don't see any, any blood. Maybe I was just far enough away that the explosion didn't hurt me. He walked away from everybody, but set it off anyway. And I'm, I'm okay. Everyone else must be okay, right? So I kind of like turned to my right to like scan over to the other people. But like there's a whole bunch of these fucking people that have got like holes in them. Fucking just like they're bleeding and people are falling down and dying. There's a fucking cop holding another cop with a fucking hole through his fucking eyeball at the back of his head. I was like, what the fuck? They all look like they got shot. What the fuck happened? It was just an explosion. There was no, there was no gun. And this is all just going through my head as these people are panicking and shit. And somebody who like, didn't look like they didn't get hit in the middle of that same crowd that's all freaking out and shit turns and looks at me. Because I'm like the only one pretty much out of this entire crowd that's kind of standing by myself for some reason. It's like a, like a cinematic from a movie or some shit. And this fucking, the guy looks at me. And he fucking takes his, like, just drops his jacket. But he doesn't look like the other guy that was all, like, terrified. He looked, like, purposeful. He just... Look on his face, and he holds the thing up. And as he does, like, uh, the people that are panicking turn, and they look, and they see. And just before they can fucking start running, he fucking... Pops it up again just as he's doing that. I see that he's going to do it, and I roll underneath the fucking the cop car. And as I roll into the cop car, the explosion goes off. And then I hear... Tink, 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 tink. And I was like, well, that's what I fucking saw when he took the jacket off on top, like, on top of the vest looked like packs of like marbles or like fucking ball bearings. So it's like a ball bearing bomb that went off. And the same thing, his, his fucking body just exploded into like shreds. It's just like, it was a mess of just it's bone and fucking and, and meat. It's, it's the scariest fucking thing I ever saw. And I thought, holy fuck. And I'm underneath this car and I see like people that didn't get hit or whatever. Like the last couple of people, I guess, just, just running for the fucking hills. And I'm like, should I stay here? Should I go? Like, it's gotta be over, right? Fucking, it's just like, the, there was only two guys. There has to have been only two guys. And then I look over and I see one person that was on the ground. And they start getting up and I realize it's another fucking guy with a vest. So I get up and I just start fucking running, running, running for it. And the bomb goes off. And then I'll hear whizzing by my ears. <laughs> See people dropping all fucking around me. And I come into the corner where my, my street is, where my parents' house is. And like there's like there's a house and then a bit of like grassy area with a couple of billboards and then there's the street there. So I have a place to kind of duck in after like the last house. 
And I do that, I fucking duck, and I dive, I hit the ground, and then all of a sudden, I'm at my job. I'm at work, I'm driving a fucking forklift. Now, I don't remember the rest of the fucking dream, what happened before that whole segment, and what happened pretty much after. I'm sure the fucking work dream was like a stress dream or some shit like that, but what the actual fuck? You know, like, your brain comes up with your dreams. You know, people flying in and shit like that. That's what I come up with. Now, I think maybe it had, might have had to do with, like, the... I've been checking out that uh, Tired is Murder uh, Death Squad anthem again. I checked out a couple other people's reactions to that shit. And the fact that most of the people didn't even comment on the, on the video and what was happening in it, which was really fucking strange to me. So maybe that's what was going on in my mind. It's just, like, a, some kind of, like, a terrorist attack or something like that, because that shit was in it. I don't know. It was just... It was too fucking real. It was, it was too fucking real. So much so, like I said, that it's been two days now and I remember all those fucking details. I can see it vividly in my head. I don't even think I described it as detailed as, as I'm seeing it in my fucking head. It was, I'm never, ever going to forget that fucking shit. It's like, you, you could, you, you, well, I guess you could write it. I was going to say you can't even write that shit. It was, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. So, yeah, that was my dream. Do you think I'm fucked up? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And hey, have you ever had a dream that was so real and so visceral that you still remember it to this day? Not even just something that was like a memory of something that happened to you and you dream about that. Just a dream that happened. It's just out of fucking nowhere, out of context. and It was really fucked up. Let me know. And now after that, if you can, have yourself a fantastic evening.